In 1687, a scientist named Isaac Newton published the Laws of Motion. I'm Mr. Borduis, and today I'm in the Rookery Bay Reserve, kayaking on the water. We'll be discussing Newton's Laws of Motion this week on STEM Sleuths as we investigate and explore science, technology, engineering, and math. Newton made his laws after making some very simple observations about the world around him. One observation I can make is that this kayak and I aren't going anywhere until something pushes us. And since it doesn't look like anyone's going to give us a push, I'm going to have to paddle. Now, Newton's first law says that things that aren't moving won't move until acted on by a force. It's the force of the paddle pushing against the water and the force of the water pushing back that causes me to move. Now, this kayak and I have a lot more mass than, say, a small stick. And so, if I want to move, I have to push hard. But if I want a small stick to move, I can give it just a small push. And that's Newton's second law. Things that have more mass take more force to speed up or slow down. The last observation that I make is that when I push against the water with my paddle, the water pushes back with an equal and opposite force. That's a strange one to understand. Look at it this way. When I push against the water with my paddle, the water pushes back in the opposite direction of my push, and so I move forward. Newton said that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Thanks for exploring Newton's laws of motion with me, stem sleuths. Maybe you can send in a picture of, or video of you demonstrating one of Newton's laws. I'm Mr. Borduis, and this is Stem Sleuths.